Coming up, angry young men and the women who love them. You'll meet Mikey Randall. Smashing an atom in your own basement. We'll talk to Jerry Steiner. Tracking wild game and what to do with the leftovers. We'll go one-on-one -on -one with Larry Kubia. He's hip, he's hot, and he just can't lose. He's Parker Lewis. Football season, a time of tradition, a time of fun, a time of good-natured interscholastic rivalry. Kill, 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 El Corrado, kill, El Corrado, kill, El Corrado. When football fever hits Santo Domingo, Santo Domingo turns to one man, team captain Lawrence Terminator 2 Kubiak. Not just a football player, a building with cleats. There's only one small thing holding him back, Koob's brain capacity. Every year, exactly six days before the big game against El Corrado, Koob's brain reaches capacity and shuts down. During his 10-year reign as captain, we've never scored against El Corrado. Not one touchdown, not one field goal, not one point. Rodman, hit, talking. You got that thumb? Koob, you still with us? Brain's full, coach. Put him in the box, boys. For Koob, one factoid too many and the season's over. Enter the fully automated, fully soundproof Koob ISO booth. Our only hope of keeping excess knowledge from sending Koob into full brain freeze. Hey Koob, fish sticks for lunch. Rudiman, Rudiman, no! Out of here, he's gonna blur! So, when's baseball season start? <laughs> One touchdown against El Corrado. Is that so much to us? <laughs> Hello, Grace Musso. The world is watching. Who the hell are you? Kathy Lee Austin, host of everybody's favorite morning show, Wake Up Santa Domingo. Grace, you've been selected to be featured on our personality profile series, Sassy, Successful, and Still Single. So get set, you're going to be on local television. <gasps> well, I don't know what to say. <laughs> oh, I feel completely flustered. <laughs> I wish I had something prepared. As principal of this great school, I take pride in presenting this symbol of our spirit, avatar of our ambition, Santo Domingo's own cherished football mascot, the great Golden Flamingo. Not since Big Bird has an animal done so much for so many. That's why we're going to steal it and frame El Corrado. What better way to boost school morale? First, we need a plan. Then Mr. Lewis will grab the bird, hand it off to Mr. Randall, who in turn laterals it to me, and we all do an end run back here. Jerry, you're a genius. I know, sir. Parker? You're busted. Attempted grand theft flamingo. You'll all be cleaning hair out of shower drains for the next six months. But first, Coach Tripp has taken a keen interest in this particular case. I'm sure he has something especially painful to add to your punishment, Coach Tripp. About your little plan, it's... Magnificent. Huh? I haven't seen a strategy this brilliant since Vince Lombardi's classic power sweep. Except this time you used a delayed, delayed screen, screen off, off the, the trap. trap. <laughs> Grace, I got 21 square feet of meat named Kubiak without a brain. This kid's got one. I want him on the team. Come again? The boy can think. And with Kubiak back online, we might just score against El Corrado. This is a shocking turn of events. Yet a unique PR opportunity. The choice is yours. Either Steiner plays, or a hundred clogged drains await your nubby little fingers. Jerry's never held a football in his life. Break out the spiffets. Let's get started. No, sirs. Jerry Steiner always takes the easy way out. But not this time. Call it a boy becoming a man. Call it a man facing his fears. Call 911. 
I'll do it. Strap a helmet on that brain. You're on the football team, son. Question. What makes a high school football player? For most guys, it's skill, determination, and a 42-inch neck. <laughs> for Jerry Steiner, it's a Britannica brain, a passion for strategy, and a 305-pound team captain with the memory capacity of cheese. Care package deluxe, Jer. Gummy bears, Flintstone vitamins, tiny tune medicated heat rub. Need anything else? Shoulders would be nice. All right, walking and talking. Let's go, ladies. Come on. Don't worry, Jer. You're going to nail this. We're with you all the way. Not quite all the way, sirs. On the field, I'll be all alone. Coob make new friend. Lifesaver's little buddy? The closest Jerry's ever come to athletics was being assistant paddleboy at canoe camp. By the look of things, all he needed was the right guy to show him the way. Enter Larry Kubiak. You know, I am such a big fan of your show, Kathy Lee. I watch Goodnight Santo Domingo. Wake up. Wake up. <laughs> Santo Domingo every night, damn morning. <laughs> well, thank you, Grace. You find time to watch my show, run a school, and still look so chic. You know, Neiman's is having a terrific sale. You'd look great in a new Anne Klein, too. Oh, I do need a bolero-length jacket desperately. <laughs> well, let's get this interview nonsense out of the way first. <laughs> Moose so failure. Two words spoken as one. For as long as she's been administrator, the Flamingos have failed to score a single point against their pigskin rivals, El Corrado. How do you defend yourself? Uh, I I'm, I'm sorry. C could you repeat the question? We're going to party tonight, Jer, in your honor. First, a little Dr. Mario action at the mall. Then, a Christian Slater retrospective at the Cineplex. Then... Ah! It's for you. Wow. An invitation to the Varsity Corner. You're going to the Varsity Corner? You know, Jer, I've always respected you as a person. Well, I do now. Shelly, if you're trolling for jocks, forget it. Maybe I should hang with them for a few minutes, sirs. It could be quality bonding time. Not a prob. We'll be here. Wow. Jerry Steiner at the Varsity Corner. One of my lifelong fantasies, sirs. No fantasy, little buddy. Great teams have always thrived on diversity. Siskel and Ebert, Hart and Tesh, and now Kubiak and Steiner. Jerry could be the best 110 pounds Kubes ever gained. Steiner, do you know what this K stands for? Friendship. I've worn it for the 10 years that I've been football captain, and after tomorrow's elections, I'll wear it another year. You know why I'd never part with it? Velcro lock? <laughs> Velcro lock? No, Jer. Friendship. That's what football's all about. Sure, there are other gratifications. <coughs> Crunching bones, body fungus, and the post-game buffet but it's the guys you play with that make it great. Steiner, I'm glad you're on my team. Thanks, Mr. Kubiak. Uh, Jer, one more thing. Jocks don't hug, they hit. What does it take to satisfy the new look of the Santo Domingo High football team? A half ton of ground chuck and one tuna fish sandwich with the crusts cut off.
Jerry Steiner, you've turned the fighting flamingos around in less than a week. Do you think you can score against El Corrado this year? <laughs> Does sodium dichlorinate have two free electrons? <laughs> Team Captain Larry Kubiak. Larry, could we have a word with you? Cool. What superstar Jerry Steiner really like? All right, people. I have here the results of the election for Team Captain. Yeah, Strictly a formality, of course, huh? <laughs> Once again, this year's Team Captain is Jerry Steiner. Whoa. My parents and I are going to Disneyland. Coop came, Coop saw, Coop quit. Jerry Steiner's quick weight loss diet, guaranteed to drop 305 pounds, eat right, exercise, and forget about the one guy who made you what you are. Jerry Steiner, in a word, famous. In eight words, I have no clue who he is anymore. Hey, Chair, heard you made team captain. Way to go. Too bad about Coop quitting. Yeah. It could make a touchdown tomorrow against El Corrado more difficult. You can quote me on that. Chair, it's not a question of a touchdown. It's a question of living long enough to hear your voice change. <laughs> Good one, Mikey. Ciao, guys. <laughs> oh, you know, I personally made the decision to put him on the team. <laughs> Jer! Wait, Kathy Lee, I have more to say! Without Coob, Jerry's gonna be mystery me. Relax, Mikey. It's not as if the universe is turning upside down. Parker, could you give me a lock of Jerry's hair? He's so dreamy. Time to talk. There's nothing to talk about. I'm rather grateful that Steiner stripped me of my prestige and honor. It's forced me to reconsider my future. I'm learning to enjoy life without football. I'm having fun. I'm happy. But Coop. Happy. happy! Whoa! Uh, yeah. Yeah, right. right. Of course. What do you say? <laughs> happy. Now, if you don't mind, I must practice. Marv, what are your thoughts on today's game? What are your thoughts on today's game? Larry's okay. ego hasn't been this bruised since he crippled that pony today, at the county okay. fair. There's only one cure. Jerry's got to... Quit the team? What'll that leave me with? A pulse. A head. Everyone's looking at me for leadership. I can't quit now. I mean, I'm the one. I'm the guy everyone's talking about. I'm the guy calling the shots. The closest I ever get to being a leader is when I'm the first one out of an elevator. Now I've got it, and I'm gonna enjoy it. Captain Kubiak is old news, and I'm USA Today. And so another day for Principal Grace Musso. For this tired, rapidly aging educator and her disenchanted students, the only glimmer of hope for a touchdown lies in the scrawny arms of one man. Teen, boy, Jerry Steiner. Can he do it? We will soon find out. That's a wrap. I gotta get to the mall. Why Nick put bacon and eggs on separate plate? Whoa, you're right, Coob. What was I thinking? Bacon and eggs go together like burger and fries. Macaroni and cheese. Peanut butter and salami. You got it. Nick trying to teach Cuba a lesson? No, I'm just saying certain things belong next to each other. Just doesn't seem right if they're not. Kubler's appetite. Time for the big game, and there are two questions. Will Santo Domingo finally score against El Corrado, and will Jerry finish the game in fewer than 27 pieces? 
Okay, gentlemen, here's the play. Tampkin and my signal drop back. Arlington will hand you the ball, and you'll cut left up center. Bill Skeen debris will block right. On three. Ready? Break. Right. Yeah, ah, ah. Uh, how about this? A Cooper will go short, uh, long. Uh, Ruderman, get ready for a lateral from Beatty. On two. Two. Uh, ready? Ready. Um, I welcome any suggestions at this point. Oh. So, Marv, what do you make of the game so far? Well... Steiner's walking a slippery slope. It looks as if the Flamingos are going to be shut out yet again. Right you are, Marv. Larry, why'd you toss in the old towel? I'd rather not go into that, OJ. Ready? They always call him Mr. Touchdown. seconds and it's all over. I think we can get a touchdown oh. if we just... Turn that boy into peanut butter and salami. Good. Look, it's a bird. It's a truck. It's, it's coming. Play Rocketeer, sir. Cinematic references later. Run now. He's in the fifty. I mean, they got plenty of daylight in the morning. Look at him go. You may be smart, but you stink at football. And you're not so good at friendship either. Yeah. Well, you're the one who gave up. Not on my friend. You know, Mr. Kubiak, I really don't care about football. But I'd hate to lose our friendship. I'm sorry. Everyone gets a swelled head. You may forget who you are, but your friends don't. Are you still my friend? Coop's still your friend. Ball's still in play. Coop speaking metaphor. Kubiak takes the ball over the goal line and scores for San Domingo. But El Dorado is the winner. How fitting that the fighting flamingos make it onto the scoreboard just in time to lose the big game. And who's to blame for this football fiasco? I think the answer's obvious. Muso, muso, muso. For Wake Up Santa Domingo, I'm Kathy Lee Austin. So, let's hit Neiman's. Shelly, do you still respect me as a person? Jerry, dare to try something new. Gave it your best. Took defeat with honor. No, actually, I don't respect you. 
Great game, Jerry. You've done good. Thanks for not helping, sirs. Not a problem. Hey, any chance of trading in a slightly used uniform for my old coat? Hey, come on, Steiner. Get in here, Steiner. Go for it, Jerry. The coat will always be here. So will we. They say you can pick your friends, but I'm not sure it's such a good idea. If we had to choose, I never would have found Mikey, we wouldn't have found Jerry, and Jerry would never have known the friendship of one Larry Kubiak. Yep, high school sure makes strange bud fellows. Welcome to Wake Up Santa Domingo. Today we take an in-depth look at Grace Musso, principal of San Domingo. We interrupt this program to bring you the president's address on education. Mr. Randall? Mr. Phillips? Hello? 